going nuts. Did I, did I dent it? Turn it! That was awful. Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Prop Effects. This week, we're making a door. Today, what you need is a knife or something really, 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 really cool that we found. Little buzz saw thing. Oh yeah. This should come as no surprise, but... And lots of cardboard. Also, Evan's here, and we have another special guest. Woo! And his name is. Hey, hey, Evan, what are you doing with our new co star? No, don't do it. Don't do it to him. Don't do it. Oh, that's Buster, by the way. Okay, so the first step is to cut your cardboard to the desired shape of door. You want to measure what, like, how big your door is before you cut it out. That way, you know, it's not, like, way too small. No dur. So anyway, cut that out to the right size and then cut some, uh, about two and a half inch rails to glue on the sides. And then, once you're done with that, just add a snappy looking doorknob and you are done. Next, start putting some duct tape around the accents of the door, like the squares that are on the door, the imprints, the designs. Just put duct tape around where you want those to really stand out. Now, while the paint's drying, get a circular piece of wood and cut out a small circle for the top of the door handle and then get a small piece of PVC pipe, cut it down very small, and then mount that on the back and hot glue everything together. This will give the doorknob a 3 d Finally got a new door since my little brother smashed in the last one. You know what? I've had enough. 